Thanks for coming back. Today we review Total Recall from 1990. It is for this week's Harry Movie Club. It was recently remade and that is why we are watching it for this week's Harry Movie Club. I must say the original, even now, I think is better than the more recent one that came out. And the original does stand up very well. I think most people have probably seen Total Recall. In my mind it's kind of like a classic action sci-fi movie. If you haven't though, Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it. He plays Douglas Quaid who also may be Hauser. We're never really sure. That's something that I really like about Total Recall because even now I'm not sure if it was a dream or not. Parts of me want to say that it was real because there were the dreams that Douglas was having at the beginning and the dreams did involve Melina. When you dream there are chances that a fragmented memory could surface. So if Douglas had actually had his mind wiped by the agency it makes sense for me that the fragmented dreams and you'd have kind of this subconscious desire to get back to Mars if that's where he had been and throughout the movie there are hints that kind of I feel go either way if it's a dream or real one of the ones that leads it for me to be uh, real is the fact that Richter who is played by Michael Ironside said that they should have killed him on Mars now at this point Douglas wasn't actually near him if it is only a memory then Douglas shouldn't have known what Richter was saying because he wasn't an earshot of it which makes me seem that it was more real but then it's up to interpretation especially at the end Quaid does go to Total Recall to try to get a vacation implanted into his memory and he does choose the secret agent option so it, the movie does lend a lot to the fact that it could be dream or real so throughout the movie there are good performances Sharon Stone is in this as Lori who's Quaid's wife at the beginning there's Dean Norris who's in this. I didn't notice it was him until I'd actually watched Handsome Quackers review and then looked it up on IMDb. So Dean Norris is in this. He plays the guy, uh, Tony. He has the rather large scar and disconfigured face. The movie does seem original. It has been 24 years now since it's been out, but it has, I think, aged very well. Most of the effects look like they may have been physical effects, like when the eyes are bulging out and it doesn't look too cheesy or anything like that now which is something you kind of suspect from 90s films. Total Recall is a keep. There are comedic bits to go along with the full throttle action throughout. One of those parts is with the Johnny Cab. Just the fact that when Quaid is in the Johnny Cab, the cab driver is a computer and it acts just so robotically. It's asking where to go and it doesn't get a specific direction, just drive and it's like, I don't know that. So I did like that. If you've not seen Total Recall, I would definitely give it a recommend and a watch. This was, like I said, for Harry Movie Club. Up above there is the annotation, so click on that to go to the playlist for the Harry Movie Club submissions. And that's curated by Mr. Harry Britt. A new movie's picked every Tuesday, and all are welcome. So definitely do join. With that said, thank you for watching. Today we review Total Recall from 1990. If you want to reach me, comment down below. Tell me if you think it's a dream or if it's real and tell me why not. I am kind of leaning to the real side. If you do want to reach me other ways, you can do so on Twitter at MattLFan. Use hashtag TodayWeReview or TodayWePlay if you have games for me to play. My uploads may be a little less as I've got a new job that's pretty time consuming, but I will do my best to keep it rather regular. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.